This is KBOI 2 News this morning. Good morning. Welcome to KBOI 2 News. It is Thursday, May 10th. I'm Brian Levin. And I'm Jenny Hawkins. We cover weather and traffic every 10 minutes on KBOI 2 News this morning. We'll get your Thursday started with Nate Larson for a quick look at what's going on outside. The breaking news overnight, three Americans detained in North Korea are freed and back on American soil this morning. KBOI 2's Sophia Dumani is live in the studio with a closer look at that homecoming. Sophia. One update to breaking news we've been following overnight. Boise police officers have called off their search for a reported shooting suspect. And now Ada County dispatchers tell us this morning there was no suspect after all. Now this all comes after officers closed off part of Royal Boulevard near Boise State University overnight to search for that reported suspect. A Bronco alert was sent out to BSU students, alerting them to the search and of a possible suspect description. But again, dispatchers this morning say there was no suspect. We are expecting additional information as to what happened sometime this morning. A Glens Ferry High School coach has been suspended after being accused of sexual exploitation of a child. The Elmore County Sheriff's Office says Charles Ramsey was arrested after they found evidence of sexually exploitive materials in the school. He was arraigned yesterday, but is currently out on bond. New this morning, the E. coli outbreak tied to romaine lettuce continues to spread. Four more states are now reporting illnesses linked to it. Florida, Minnesota, North Dakota, and Texas have joined the list that's now up to 29 states. 28 more people have reported getting sick, and the CDC says that brings the overall total to 149 people. Half of them were hospitalized, and we're told one person has died. Health officials say the tainted lettuce was grown in Yuma, Arizona. Oh, the community always seems to help. Yeah. yeah. There's a need, hopefully. Find them a new place to, to come through. Set up a yeah. shop. Yeah. Right. Absolutely. Especially because, you know, the work they're doing means the world to those families who yeah. get those customized scrapbooks. I mean, scrapbooking, if you've ever tried it, <laughs> it's uh, not easy. it is not yeah. easy. I got really ambitious one summer after okay. uh, studying abroad. I was like, all right, I want to mm -hmm. document everything I did. Yeah. I think that tank thing took me longer to make than I was actually studying abroad for. Right, yeah. So, yeah. Plus it's expensive, it's you know, you get all those materials and the time and effort they put into it. Mm -hmm. It really makes a big difference uh, for folks that get one. So, yeah. 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 Keep it going. Okay, well, we have been so <laughs> spoiled and uh, now we're kind of getting kicked back into reality a little mm -hmm. bit as we head toward the weekend. Yeah, yesterday we had a little bit more of a reality check. All right, it's time for our question of the day. We'll take a look at yesterday's question first. 79% of us consider the time we spend doing this as me time. Look, the it's normally time I just start yelling and saying, come on, move I know, it. I All right, commuting. I guess, I guess if you find a way to enjoy it, yeah. stay with that. Listen to that podcast. Yeah, music, maybe. Jam out a little bit. Okay, now for today's question. Seven out of ten people say they have to do this every time because their significant other never will. All right, what is it? Oh, be careful, though. Share with us on Facebook or Twitter.